Hey guys, what's up? Um, good morning. I wanted to show you uh, in real time, and so it's, I don't know if you can see, but it is 5.03. My alarm just went off at 5 a.m. I'm super tired. I want to go back to bed. Um, but... I like to get up early and my day flows so much better, but I just wanted to kind of show you like in real time, you know, for the first, you know, few minutes of the day, my brain tells me to go back to sleep, just like yours probably does, but I promise that it's worth it once you get up. It just sucks in the beginning. So I'm going to show you the things that I do in my morning routine that are a part of my success routine, the things that work for me. Yeah, so the very first thing that I do once I wake up is brush my teeth. This is gonna make a lot of money. I do have some rules to the engagement of things that are really important for your brain and for your mental health. So it's really important that you meditate within the first 30 minutes or so of waking up because your brain is in a different state. It's you know basically the state between dreaming and being awake, which allows you to really access those deeper parts within yourself. So that's really important. Secondly, is I don't do any screens, any blue light, or anything like that within the first hour of being awake. The only thing that I touch my phone for is simply to turn off my alarm and to set a timer for how long I meditate. I don't do any, I don't look at texts, I don't look at emails, I don't look at Instagram, I don't look at any of that shit. I just focus on my little bubble for the first hour, hour and a half of my day is mine and mine to control and to own and to have it exactly for what makes me feel incredible. Alright, so, oh, yeah. so I always tell myself like if I can just make it through brushing my teeth, I can probably make it through the rest of my day. So I always say just brush your teeth because if you can get through that, almost could get through starting the day and getting things on the right track. Like when I do this, I'm like half asleep, so. All right, so I just finished brushing my teeth. My hair looks crazy when I wake up in the morning, but normally what I do right now is I take a few seconds just to say some like affirmations in the mirror, kind of tell myself some positive things. So as you can see, this is me in the mirror, just finished brushing my teeth. I normally say things like, you are smart, you are charismatic, you are worthy, you are successful, you are somebody that's a leader, you are a amazing human being. Just something simple, it doesn't need to be crazy, just something, things that you wanna believe about yourself. And if there's things that you need to overcome, maybe negative beliefs, negative thought cycles, this is where I kinda take a second for my day and start rewiring my brain. All right, so on to the next thing. So the next thing that I do, hey dude, hey, bruh, it's too early for the squeak. Can we, can we not? Nope, stop, not. Anyways, the very next thing that I do is I do some brief stretching um, to get me ready for my meditation because Right now I'm sitting for a long period of time in my meditation. Um, we're doing about an hour, but um, 
you know, realistically, I'll probably sit for about 30 minutes a day. But either way, I want to get kind of more flexible. So I do quickly probably five minutes worth of stretching. So I'll kind of do some of that now. And just, so, uh, I just do like these butterflies real quick. And I'm like embarrassingly not flexible at all. So. Okay. My dog almost always gets up early with me, even though sometimes he hates it. He's never like, oh, wait. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Which is called pigeon, which really helps me open up my hip flexors. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. I'm you. I'm a YouTube star. I love YouTube. I love YouTube. I'm trying to pigeon, bro. Don't eat that. Dogs. Try to like stretch like that. To like open up the hip flexors. I don't even know if this is a real stretch, but it always feels really good for me. Oh, fuck. Oh, I can't like rotate them. Alright, so. Then, and then down this way. Those of you that comment, no, I don't give two shits about the Blue Jays, or any team for that matter, I'm not related to sports. This just happens to be a random pair of shorts that I found. Alright. Say rituals, bro. Rituals. Probably no longer than like four or five minutes. Oh, I'll just make sure that I'm still flexible. And then we're gonna go into meditation which is an extremely important and crucial part of my daily routine that really helps me be more successful, be more focused, be more clear, be more in touch with my emotions, which is also important. Um, it allows me to have that quiet space that every day I can kind of sort through things in my mind, I can connect with my emotions, like all of these different things. And I can't tell you enough how important meditation is, not only in my life, but I really feel like it, it could be super important in yours. So if you haven't yet, uh, you should really start trying to get in to meditation. So let me take you where I'm going now. Alright guys, so here I am. This is where I've been meditating recently. My meditation spot kind of changes depending on where I'm at. And uh, sometimes I change it up within my own home. And I do sit on cushions because I'm not flexible enough to be in full lotus pose. But the physical aspect of your meditation is just as important as the mental. So, you know, the sitting in the pose is actually very important and you'll find out why as you progress further in your meditation journey. So the longer you go, the more physical sensations you have and the more physical pain that you have and you realize different parts of your body that need to be strengthened in order to be able to sit in meditation longer and uh, there's a little bit of a mental battle that you have. Anyways, I love to meditate. Uh, right now I'm doing like an hour a day, so like I said, you're not gonna watch that whole thing, but the type of meditation that I'm currently doing, it's called Vipassana. It's hard to spell and hard to say, but basically the premise is you sit um, in full quiet, and unlike most meditation where you manipulate your breath and the pattern of breathing, in this you just simply observe your natural pace of breath and when you're taking breaths in and letting them come out naturally and you're observing when that happens in pure quiet. So you just have nothing but silence and you're observing your natural pace of breath. Now, when you do this, if you're going to be willing to try this as a part of your daily routine, which I highly suggest, I promise you, you're going to have a lot of growth in your life. Start at 10 minutes and realize that you're going to have racing thoughts. You're going to have, you know, feel like you can't focus. That's okay. That is all normal. It's part of it. Don't judge yourself. Be non-judgmental to the thoughts that you're having. But just always remember to refocus back on 
okay, when is the next time that I'm going to breathe? Oh, my body's naturally taking in a breath. My body's naturally exhaling. And focus, keep focusing on those points of breath. And when you do, you'll realize that you actually get lost in time and in your mind. So start with 10 minutes a day. Learn to get comfortable with 10 minutes. And then as you progress, maybe a week later, two weeks later, switch to 20 minutes and get comfortable with that. And then just kind of work your way up. Like I said, I'm on a transformation challenge right now. And so that's why I'm doing above an hour. But in my normal daily routine, that's sustainable and that will last. This is probably going to be a 30 minute session for me. So we got 30 minutes here before we go to the next part of my morning routine. So it's simple. You want straight back posture, close your eyes. You can, you know, put your hands out like this. You can lay them flat like that. And you just want to, again, you don't breathe with your mouth. It's just nose, just nasal breathing. As so now that I'm done my meditation, the very first thing that I do next is I either make myself some morning tea or some morning coffee, depending on what I'm feeling for the day. And um, I only do caffeine two to three times a week. So today happens to be my non-caffeine day. So I'm gonna make myself some tea. While that's heating up, I am going to write down in my, I have a book that is specifically for my things that I am grateful for. So right after my meditation, while my tea or my coffee is kind of getting boiled or, or steeping or whatever, um, I take just a few moments to write down a couple of things that I'm grateful for in this exact day. And one of the things I'm going to be grateful for today is for you guys, for my YouTube followers, because I don't have a lot of them right now. So I'm grateful for each and every one of you. And so I'm going to write that. Now this is pretty much done. I'll turn this off. I don't like to get it boiling because I think it messes up the tea. Shit, that's hot. Damn, you'd think I'd learn my lesson. Um, so I got this cool tea blend that I got in North Carolina. It's like a lavender lemon fruit blend. It's very good and I don't have a tea steeping thing right now. So I'm actually going to use this bad boy. which is normally for coffee, but it will work for this purpose. That's all I'm gonna use, not a bunch mainly because this stuff is gold. Boom, so we're gonna let that steep for just a few minutes. All right guys, so now that I have some tea to sip on and I can really truly just kind of Relax for a second. Um, I generally take 20 to 30 minutes in the morning to read something while I have either tea or coffee. Right now I'm reading this really cool, I don't even know if you can call this a book, but it's called A Thousand Paths to Tranquility. It's just all these really cool like quotes and different like mind frames of thinking and it's, you know, it's super easy to read. I'm almost done. And then uh, I just ordered another book on Amazon, but I read in the morning and I read in the evenings 
and um, always just gaining more knowledge, more insight, whether it's on a personal growth level or on a business level. I also have uh, Principles by Ray Dalio, but that is definitely very uh, business intense stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a few minutes here, just kind of relax, get my mind in the right space, and then it's time to start crushing. We're gonna turn up the energy level a little bit, and we're gonna go to the gym. Um, that's when I get my workout in, I either go to the gym, or I go to, uh, I just do my run, because I run 3.2 miles a day right now. Um, it just depends on, on what I need to do. So, But normally, it's gym in the morning, and then uh, the rest of my day, I come back, eat breakfast, get in for the office, and then it's time to roll. What's up, you guys? Back from the gym, and normally, although today it was extremely delayed, normally I'll come right back here and finish my morning routine with making myself a nice breakfast, unless I'm fasting. But uh, I like to do intermittent fasting maybe two to three times a week. Um, but most of the time I enjoy a good breakfast right after I go to the gym. And I'm pretty simple, I just like to do uh, egg whites. I do about a cup, maybe, um, yeah, pretty much a cup of egg whites, some spinach in there, um, not a bunch of salt. And then um, I'll typically have a glass of water. Sometimes I switch it up, do a protein shake with uh, banana, peanut butter, all that good stuff. So healthy breakfast. Um, also, don't forget to get your complex carbs in in the morning because it gives you a lot of energy throughout the day. Healthy breakfast, healthy mind, healthy physical part of the day. And it's just like, you know, you touch on every single one of those categories, you know, mind, body, and spirit and you're starting your day on the right foot. And then what I'll do is I'll just shower up real quick, get straight into the office. I'm normally able to be in the office by about 8.30, um, or if I have an appointment where I have to run out or go have a meeting early, then I'll go and do that. But for the most part, that is my morning routine. And I know you guys think that it probably stops right there, but the truth is it doesn't. It's, I also have evening routines and rituals that are just as important as morning routines and you know you got to have that time in the evening to wind down and get your brain ready to really go to sleep so i do a small meditation in the evening which i'll show you guys a little bit later only for about 10 minutes just to kind of clear my state and get myself in a place of relax and uh typically i do no screens um, for 30 to 45 minutes before I go to bed. And most of the time I will read uh, a book that I'm reading in the evening to just kind of relax and uh, get myself in the right space to go to sleep. And I always try to map out my day the night before uh, for the next day. This is something huge and key because it gives you an idea of what you're gonna be doing the next day so that when you get into the, the routine in the office, you're not like bombarded with, oh shit, I gotta do all these things. So I'll show you the evening routine, but uh, your evening routine is just as important as your morning, all right? That is, I, I can't explain to you guys enough how success really is built on these daily habits and rituals and the things that you constantly do over and over and over again. And I know it sounds crazy, but something as simple as a rock solid daily routine, waking up early where you're ahead of everyone else in the world, you have time to yourself, you have time for, you know, where nobody is bothering you. And I just, even when things are bad, you have this concrete foundation to fall back on of your daily routine and the time for yourself also helping you cope with a lot of stress. If you're an entrepreneur, you're going to be stressed, you're gonna deal with a lot of different moving parts and all of these different things happening. So you have to regulate your stress and do things to de-stress in your daily routine. So again, I know it sounds crazy, but I highly suggest trying it. Try doing this routine or some variation of my routine that maybe works better for you. It's not a cookie cutter thing, but I can tell you that there is a lot, a lot of data that supports people getting up early and their productivity. So think about it, do the research, and um, some books for you guys to check out if you're interested in this type of stuff you can check out The Miracle Morning 
And then you can also check out the 5 a.m. club. And uh, I think you will get a lot of value from both of those. And hopefully this helps you elevate your life to a whole other level. I'm out guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching this week's episode. And most importantly, don't forget to make it happen this week in your life in any way that you can. Practice some humility, make somebody smile, and go out there and crush your goals and dreams. I love y'all. I'm out.